Deep Chandler. breaths. Let's take a deep breath. I told Lauren earlier that she was giving a little bit of meth vibes. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of adrenaline coursing there's through her. There's a lot of adrenaline. You know, she's right on now. the search for a missing woman. It's, it's, it's absolutely correct. I am Liam Neeson right yes, now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Well, 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 you're seated right next to me. This feels so good. It feels good. We've, we've recorded in person before mm -hmm. and I've missed it. I missed it too. And I feel like it is just the perfect moment, the perfect timing that I'm in New York for the cataclysmic event that is, Gemma, it has not just shaken the globe. It has not just shaken the nation. It has shaken the planets. The solar system is cracking. I mean, I'm already looking into the future and seeing, you know, where were you during where, the, where the fuck is Kate's Where candle? were you where were during you? where the, you are absolutely so correct. Gemma, I know. And where were you during the where that is Kate okay. scandal? Let me just clear the air, everybody. Um, I did not abdicate the podcast. <laughs> I was at a, you know, lovely bachelorette party. I was, you know, off the grid. Um, and you know, basically I went on vacation. Sorry, sorry, I went on vacation. <laughs> And we went viral. We, I went on vacation and we went viral. First of all, I kind of love the fact that we went viral and you didn't have to do a fucking thing. I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty you luxurious. Know, it's it's kind of like when you, when you put the right people in place and you set up things perfectly, you know, you just kind of let people do their, their work. When you hire the right when people, you hire the right people <laughs> and you can, uh, you can trust them to execute all right, their jobs. Right, right. You can, yes, exactly. I mean, I've always said hire the right people <laughs> and you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> Fire fast, hire right. It's absolutely so correct. <gasps> Everyone. So as I've been releasing where the F is Kate, these videos, I've gotten so many messages that are like, where the F is Kate, where the F is Chandler. Okay, can we get a wellness check right. on Chandler? I was sunning myself. I had terrible reception in Mexico. But thank you, Lauren, for holding it down, for steering the ship. Okay, uh, everyone, we're going to get into where that is, Kate. Don't worry. We're going to do a full deep dive right now on this entire saga. But before we get there, I just have to bring you and our audience up to speed on this journey. Okay, okay. bring us up to speed. Um, because I think that it might have been kind of good by the way, that you were not in town. I'm sorry, because I just feel like- Because you could be the face of the podcast now? <laughs> I just feel like, what if I messaged you and you're like, mm, I don't know, is it insensitive? Is Could we not do that? Should we not? Well, you could have fudded me. I could have fudded you. I think you have great instincts. Oh, thank you. And, and honestly, like you, in moments of pop culture crisis, I think you really take the reins. <laughs> and- you know, you're really good at the green screen. And when I saw, you know, the BTS of you filming a full, you know, 13 hour day uh, recording, I was just like, thank God she's at the helm of this. Okay. So, so to give people some BTS of what happened, I was at home and it was just so funny because I saw on Courtney's broadcast channel. Okay. Our wonderful sister, Courtney grow. She's a, an influencer. We need to give her shout outs now um, um, to yeah. help her grow. Totally. So the, true. The, the tables have really turned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so please everyone give Courtney grow. Uh, she's, she's a new influencer. She's starting out. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't say her name anymore because she's only paying us to do three shout outs. That's so. true. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Anyway, Courtney's broadcast channel, she was talking about Kate. Yeah. She was like, what, you know, something suspicious here. Right, right. And Courtney, her sister, she is not someone who gets swept away with conspiracies. Yeah. I'll say she's not QE. She, she's not QE at all. She's very level headed. And so I thought, if Courtney is riveted by this, something is going on. Sure. So basically, I got completely overtaken. I was down Twitter rabbit holes. I was just so obsessed. And then I realized, Chandler, I was like, if I don't fucking do these reels, if I do not hop on a green screen and clown right, on right, the ground, right. then I should just quit this podcast because should be done. I clearly just right. am not going to put in the work. So it was noon. We had someone coming and helping with the house. And it was so funny because Kagan, he was like in his office and normally I would let in the person, I would right. handle things. And I'm like, Kagan, you need to go help that person. <laughs> and then literally I had to tell them to be quiet while you were filming. Because I needed quiet on the set. <laughs> quiet on the set. <laughs> Where the fuck is Kate? <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> literally what happened. By the way, I mean, I was just making these reels. They hadn't done anything yet. So yeah. I just seemed like the biggest asshole and so annoying <laughs> and embarrassing. Like, it's not like I had any justifiable reason right. for being so extra. Yeah. 
Anyway, I went into a tear and yeah, it has just been an incredible journey, everyone, to share the message, to share the mystery mm -hmm. of where the fuck, is, where the fuck is Kate Middleton? Let's just say it. I want you to know that you've done a fantastic job. I said this in our group text. You have the beauty of Diane Sawyer <laughs> and the flair of Nancy Grace. And I think that's your, those are your superpowers, truly. Well, Chandler, we are not going to leave a stone <laughs> unturned today as we search for the woman Kate. I think what has been really crazy about this scandal mm -hmm. and really different and like why it's become such like a crazy train that's left the station is that like we are getting new information all the time. Mm -hmm. It is like an hour by hour scandal. Mm -hmm. And I think that is why like we're now on par part what? 17? We're on part 17 right now. Yeah. So let we are getting, I think... What's interesting about it is not that necessarily we're getting new information from the mm -hmm. palace. Okay, okay. We're getting new breadcrumbs as to right, why the right. these little bits of information the palace has given us are fucking lies right. and bullshit. Right. So today we're gonna go over all of this. So I think we start at the beginning. Can we start, Let's at, the start at the beginning? Let's okay. start at the beginning. Okay. Deep Chandler. breaths. Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> I told Lauren earlier that she was giving a little bit of meth vibes. <laughs> And I think there's a lot of adrenaline coursing there's through her. There's a lot of adrenaline. You know, she's on the search for a missing woman. It's, it's, it's absolutely correct. I am Liam Neeson right yes, now. Okay. Yes. And I am trying. And what's, what's, it, what's it called? Lost? Taken? Fun. See, and, guys. Just, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Exactly. Kate has been taken and we need to take her back. We need to take her back. So anyway. Okay. Deep breaths. Let's go way back. Okay. To December. Okay, December 25th, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kate is pictured in a beautiful blue coat. Yes, okay? I remember. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day looks beautiful. Church service. Serene. Yep. That brunette chestnut mm -hmm, hair that we mm -hmm. all are so swept away right. by any time a pat photo is right. dropped. Well, Chandler, that was the last time we saw this woman alive and well and healthy. This is, okay, and this is where it just gets immediately weird. Three days later, the royals are at Sandringham, where they're spending Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. An ambulance leaves Sandringham. It's like an ambulance. I think it's an ambulance. Like, was it like a Range Rover am ambulance? There was multiple ambulances, I feel like. Anyway, and also like a, like a f convoy, kind of. It was a convoy of yeah. motorcade yeah. of health problems right. in vehicle form. <laughs> and so anyway, exiting Sandringham. Yeah. And interestingly enough, this really did not get that much no, press. No, no, no. Which I think goes to show the power of the yes, royal family. Yeah and what they can prevent from getting out there. Yes. So anyway, no one's really paying attention. That happens. Then another thing happens, Chandler. Okay. They announce, and I haven't shared this on TikTok yet, on Reels. Oh my gosh. Is, is this a new breadcrumb? This is a new bread. I mean, by the way, have you actually watched the Reels? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. Just want to be clear. I've watched for sure 80% of them. <laughs> classic. And some of them twice. Classic. Classic. Okay. So this is a new breadcrumb. Yeah. So apparently they announced that Kate and William. Yeah. This is before the ambulance. Yeah. They announced that Kate and William would be going to Italy in early 2024, in spring 2024. Okay. Okay. On like a royal tour. I don't have all the facts. Okay. okay? Um, I just, this is the key piece of information. Got it. Okay. Going to Italy. Okay. Then on January 17th, the palace issues a notice that Kate Middleton has undergone planned abdominal yes. surgery yes. the day before. She is expected to recuperate in the hospital for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then she is expected to recuperate at home for several months. Right. And we should not right. expect to see her until after Easter. Okay. The words planned abdominal surgery are, are have been running through my brain for the last two weeks. Well, and can I can I just say... If it's a planned abdominal yeah. surgery, where they plan this, Chandler, and they know yeah. what the surgery yeah. is, knowing the recovery timeline, yeah. knowing the surgery, yeah. why are they planning a trip to Italy? Right, right, right. Like, I'm sorry. Why would you plan a trip to Italy if you're going to be unwell, mm -hmm, if you're going mm -hmm. to be ailing? And I, yeah, I guess for me, I don't really know what a planned abdominal surgery that takes that long to recover from is. It's very concerning. Yeah. And so... People are just really confused by this. Yeah. I mean, consider like a two week stay in the hospital is a really long time. It's a ton of time. time. It's a really long time. It's a really long time. Yeah. Especially when you would consider that Kate Middleton is the type of, she, she could have the best care in the world at right. home. And she's young. She's young. You know, I mean, 
we're not doctors, but we can, you know, clearly assess that two, two weeks in the hospital is a long time. That that is a big deal. It's a big deal medically. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. You heard it here first. And so, <laughs> uh, and the other thing to consider. So what this said to me, excuse yeah. me, what this said to me is she needed to be near an operating room for two for two weeks because that's the only thing that differentiates mm. really a hospital from her private home sure, and sure, private sure. nurses. Yeah, under close supervision. Yeah, under close supervision. Yeah. So that also is really yeah. scary. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> Are you okay? Is your heart rate okay? I don't, honestly, I'm glad I don't have an aura ring on right now or an yeah. Apple watch because I feel like I'll be telling you to go to the hospital. I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like you might need to be sedated after this. <laughs> after part 290, yeah. I'm going to have to be. You're going to have to have, have a planned abdominal <laughs> surgery. <laughs> I need some horse tranquilizers after that. Okay. So everyone starts speculating yeah. and no one is like thinking anything, I think, at this time is a miss other than this is a true health issue. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what is the health issue? Yeah. Yeah. So then people are speculating that she has Crohn's disease. Okay. Um, which is horrible. And yeah. honestly would make sense as to yeah. why it's hard for her to keep weight on. Yeah. Because yeah. Kate Middleton has always been extremely thin. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say yeah. she's yeah. always been, I think, on the edge yeah. of what looks healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very small person. Very frail. So it makes sense. Okay, this is shedding light on some what she's going through. And apparently, if you get a bowel resection due to Crohn's disease, yeah. that takes a long time to recover yeah. from. It's a very big deal. Yeah. So that's the consensus. Okay. So then we're just wishing Kate well. Right. Prayers. Prayers, thoughts and prayers are going out to her. So another key piece of this is that King Charles is in the hospital at the uh -huh. same time as Kate. By the way, there's no photos of Kate entering or right. exiting the hospital. Yeah. That's huge. There's only the video of the ambulance. Yeah. So I'm sorry. We don't even know that she ever even went into the hospital. Right, right. But there's photos of Charles entering and exiting. Yeah. yeah. He was said to have left the same day as Kate, but no photos of Kate. That is so bizarre that they left the same day. So weird. Yeah. That's like, that seems like a crazy coincidence. Does like, it's not like the palace, like, let's have him carpool home. <laughs> exactly. And what was interesting about it is, the king and Camilla. It's not like they saw them randomly behind a. I don't know. Like no, it was long, a pose photo. It was like a pose. Yeah, waving, it was like waving. It might as well have been like they had a brand new baby. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Which makes you think that why are like why are they having this? Why are they having this so extra exit right. from the hospital if yeah. they're not trying to distract? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then people are more and more concerned. Yeah. And Tina Brown made a very astute point on a morning show. I think she was talking to Gail King, mm -hmm. but she said that they, they told us there would be no health updates. There'd be no health updates and they should have just stuck to that. Right. Right. But instead they released a family photo of Kate on Instagram. And in the photo, she purportedly, if you just on first glance, she looks alive. She looks well, she's right. surrounded by her smiling children. Yes. Yes. And what Tina Brown says is, and what, T and what Tina Brown says is this is a health update. Yeah. This photo communicates right. that she's fine. Right. Right. So now we actually are getting updates. Well, and let's back up slightly because I do think that before we got the photo of this, mm -hmm. the smiling family photo, oh, people right. were, where is Kate? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Let's back up. Excuse me, everyone. Deepest apologies as we need to go back in the chronology because Yes, people were freaking out, where's Kate? And then somehow the paparazzi got photos of her driving in Windsor. Right, with right. Her mom. Like, there has started to be a public outcry mm -hmm. of, this feels off. Why haven't we seen her? Why is there, you know, why have we gotten these photos of King Charles inside of the hospital, but nothing from Kate? But nothing from Kate. And, yeah. it, it, you know, and I think, like, it felt like all eyes were on the palace. So then they release the photo of her mother and, you know, allegedly Kate mm -hmm. in a car driving. They Some big sunglasses are on. And yes, they don't release it, but it is, you know, it's clearly set up. It's not released on their official channels, but it's like they allowed for it to happen. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And it's allegedly set up by them. What was so weird about this photo mm -hmm. is it kind of doesn't look like her. Yeah. There's just something off. I think that her face almost looks potentially a little swollen. She's got mm -hmm. big sunglasses on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of one of the... It doesn't look exactly like Kate. Mm -hmm. The other thing that is off about the photo mm -hmm. is another Photoshop mm -hmm. thing that people are, you know, purporting. And that is 
a there's another wheel like underneath so you see like the four wheels of the car but then it looks like there's almost another wheel behind it mm -hmm. do you know what i'm talking about y yes i do and yeah. it's like it almost looks like a fake photo right 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 so and the other thing that's interesting about these paparazzi shots of kate and i think this is all the pat photos we've gotten yeah. or all the photos we've gotten is there's always only like one like you would think mm. that if there was paparazzi taking right. photos there would be 30 right 30 yeah you know photos yeah. at least yeah. but no there's just this one right that right it's the internet and a lot of people like i saw one commenter they're like i've seen clear photos of bigfoot yeah like it is yeah. just so grainy it's right. so hard to see right. so anyway this really gets i think rumors starting people are really concerned mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so then they drop on their instagram okay they drop on their instagram the photo of her surrounded right. by her smiling children they do it to celebrate also like UK Mother's Day. Yes. You know? And this is where the wheels fully come off, mm -hmm. the royal bus. Okay. Because this photo is so clearly photoshopped yeah. to within an inch of its life. It's basically deemed fake news right. by the news outlets that in initially published it. So AP, they initially post the photo, then they issue a kill notice, essentially saying it's not like Oh, this is airbrush. Sure, right. She doesn't have, you know, that smooth of skin yeah, or yeah. those thin of arms. No, no, no. What they're saying is we think this photo has been so mani mm -hmm, manipulated. Mm -hmm. This photo is fake. Well, it didn't actually even happen. And isn't it true that they asked for the original photo to compare it to and they couldn't get that? They asked for the original yeah. photo from the palace yeah. to at least confirm this right. shoot happened. Sure. This may have been photoshopped into oblivion, but we know that there was an original photo that matches exactly. this to some exactly. degree. Exactly. Yeah. And the palace said no. So this is, I, I think this is when everything, this is when I this is, said quiet on the set. I had to, you know, yeah. take to the green screen because it, to me, it's just like, this is fucking bizarre. 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 And I think once again, it is a huge deal mm -hmm. to get a kill notice. A huge everyone was, everyone, you know, in the journalism community was writing and said they'd never, never seen, seen, seen it before. Yes. Like from AP, like it's, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah. Okay. So the internet is a flame. Is that a word? Is a flame? The internet is on fire. The internet is absolutely on fire. And one thing that is also picking up speed in the news cycle uh -huh. is something that came out earlier, right after Kate was said to have been released from the hospital is a Spanish journalist went yes. on the record and said that Kate was in a coma mm -hmm. and she was close to death. Something went terribly yes. wrong during her yeah. surgery and she, like something was horrifically wrong with Kate. So the palace clapped back and were like, that's absolutely not correct. Yeah. They adamantly vehemently yeah. denied it. Yeah. And the reporter doubled down. Doubled down. She doubled down, mm -hmm. which is interesting to me because I feel like the palace could sue, especially right. like a bit. I don't know what outlet she's I mean, part of, but like you would think that there's like she could be in trouble if she's lying. Oh yeah, I mean, and it's not just like she's some Twitter person, right? You know, who's I'm doubling down. I don't care what you say, like palace, blah blah blah. It's not me on it's the a, green screen it's someone doubling who's, down. Whose reputation and career is on the line? Exactly. So now we have this palace journalist yeah. announcement. We have the weird ass photos. Right. Of the right. Okay. Then dropped is the family photo. That's fake mm -hmm. and it's deemed fake news yeah. even on instagram now there's a warning that the photo is manipulated i mean mark zuckerberg is really doing a lot of work for this crisis <gasps> oh my gosh next to us you need to tell him that in his next performance i will i will okay so then on february 25th chandler several weeks after the spanish journalist mm -hmm. said that she was in a coma thomas kingston who used to date pippa middleton this yeah. is an ex of mm -hmm. pippa middleton mm -hmm. okay he is found dead from a purportedly self-inflicted gunshot wound. Yeah. Two days after that, Prince William pulls out from a planned speaking yep. engagement at his godfather, King Constantine's memorial service. This King to, Constantine? Is that, is, I, that, is that a real name? Well, first of all, it is his real name. He's King Constantine of Greece. Wow. And I just... I would never miss King Constantine's funeral, not. especially if it's my godfather, yeah. especially if I'm supposed to right. talk at it. It's quite rude. It is really bad manners. Mm -hmm. And also, it's just a huge deal. Right, right. And it's for personal reasons. For personal reasons. Yeah. He also shows up a few days after that with a bruise on his neck. Yes, a bruise right here. So this is a real you didn't see. Uh, a bru <laughs> <laughs> I'm I didn't have good service. Okay, I didn't have good service. He shows up with a bruise right here on his yeah. neck. Like literally where a thumb would be indicating a struggle yes like yes oh my god so people 
people are like, what is happening? Is it possible? Was it a hickey? Is there any way it was a hickey? I don't think it was a hickey. <laughs> I mean, who knows? So people are like, is there any way that he found out something about Kate and Thomas Kingston and there was a King struggle? Constantine? <laughs> is it, so the big theory right now, everyone, is that King Constantine was actually fucking Kate Middleton. And that is why that's, he pulled that's what out happened. from Spain. And that's why he's, he's dead. That's why he's dead. Exactly. And Thomas Kingston told Prince William yes, yes. and said that you can't kill him. Right, and right. Prince and that's... William, and yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> how does this all wrap up? And Thomas Kingston tries to kill, tries to kill Prince and then William, William shoots, shoots Thomas, Thomas Kingston, Kingston. And then goes and goes to King Constantine. <laughs> you guys, we figured it out. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, so none of this is funny. <laughs> This is no laughing it's matter. It's no laughing matter. It is no laughing matter if laugh Thomas Kingston really he did like fully did. die by yeah. suicide. And it, it is really horrible. Yeah. Or alleged suicide. Yeah. Because yeah. people really are unsure. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, honestly, this is going to be a niche reference, but I'm just imagining like a Joseph Smith jailhouse, <laughs> like a, you know, like scramble. <laughs> just two men with guns with a gun. <laughs> anyway. So the other theory, and this is very far fetched, but Chandler, we have to get into You're it. <laughs> You guys, as I as I did watch, you know, some of the reels, I just love Lauren's, you know, I'm going to leave no stone unturned, which is basically like the biggest caveat for I'm going to share all the craziest theories. I'm going to share the craziest load of shit you've ever Literally, heard. But I'm leaving no stone unturned. That's probably entirely fake. Entirely fake. Yeah. But anyway, Chandler, when I was searching for answers about Kate, yeah, yeah. I kept running up against yeah. a particular comment, okay, which is that she had moved behind an ice wall. You hadn't watched, you haven't watched this really either. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, can I just say too, when I could get the reels to load, I was at a bachelorette trip. Like I felt like I couldn't be watching reels for my own podcast uh, around other people. Fair, fair. You have been home for several days though. Anyway. Okay. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of people glued to these reels, but I know, I know. And I was getting texts from people saying like, thank goodness for, for your, for your sister. She's doing like the reporting anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm actually terrified that you haven't seen this reel because you're not going to like what's going to come next. <laughs> okay. And by the way, I got some angry messages for this reel, but she's leaving no stone unturned. I have to leave no stone unturned on our search for right. the truth about Kate. Okay. So I'm like, what is an ice ball? What's yeah. going on? So the theory is that a lot of powerful people are disappearing. Oh, I did see this one. Oh, you did? Yes, see this one. I did. Oh, I did. Okay, I did. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so a lot of powerful yeah. people are disappearing. The Pope has the flu, okay? <laughs> he's My eyes are going to glaze over. Again. He's in the hospital. Yeah. Mitch McConnell, Chandler, he has stepped down. He stepped down from two. Yeah. <laughs> he's announcing he's stepping down. Right. Jacob Rothschild, okay? Yes. Banking yeah. Dynasty yeah. Yeah. family, he's dead. dead. Okay. okay. I only 87. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. King Constantine? King Constantine. Dead. <laughs> Thomas Kingston? Dead. dead. So as I said in my reel, why is everyone dying, dying or disappearing? So the theory is, okay, that something- These aren't stones. I would say these are more like pebbles. I'm going to leave no pebble <laughs> dirt. <sighs> you guys, in my search for the truth, I must bear it all. What they say- are the, are the, wait, is, that's those are all the names, right? That's it. Well, and then King Charles is, ha, has cancer. He's no longer yeah. seen. Camilla was out of office. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That that is weird to me. It's weird. It feels like like if, if ever like there was a time for the you know the B lister royals to like step up, it's now. Exactly. Yeah. So there might be something to the ice yeah. ball. So basically, so, what they're saying, what the idea is, is that all these powerful people are part of some conglomerate of elites that do horrible misdeeds. Meet you, right? <laughs> Does it rhyme with Pizzagate? Um, I don't know Pizzagate. I'm not, I don't actually believe in this theory, by okay. the way. But no stone unturned. But no stone unturned. Yeah. I absolutely do not believe in it. But what many people do believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Including a personal friend who yes. I got vehement messages from yes. who believes this wholeheartedly with all yeah. their heart and soul. Yeah. Yeah. What these people believe is that these powerful figures have moved behind an ice wall in Antarctica. First oh, of a all, physical ice wall. Yes, in Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. So apparently you can't really fly over Antarctica 
And the theory is that beyond Antarctica is not just like the, the it's not where the, the earth drops off. It's actually where other continents exist. And it, Chandler, a very advanced world. A very, a very advanced world, okay, <laughs> where all these powerful people can escape so they don't have to suffer for the crimes they committed in our world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm digesting <laughs> hearing that again. Um, okay. Okay. Anyway. No stone unturned. No stone unturned. As I said on TikTok. As so I Kate said, is there. So Kate, so Kate, Kate is, is, Kate is okay. there. Because but, her sin, because of her sins here, she's she yeah, exactly. She has pieced out to yeah. behind the ice wall because it's all about to come out with the. Pope, That's kind of crazy with Mitch yeah. McConnell. Someone said, "Do we think that Kate Middleton left William for Mitch McConnell?" <laughs> and I said, "It's definitely possible that they're fucking in Antarctica, like fully." <sighs> I'm honestly glad that I wasn't around <laughs> because I I would have put on the brakes, and if I had put on the brakes. <laughs> While you were, you know, trying to get this trying to plane, pedal. trying to pedal, we would not be where we are. So I am just like grateful for the way <laughs> things work. I'm God bless the broken like, road that got us here. Literally, God works in mysterious ways. Truly you were meant to take. I was. Trip. It was. It was meant for me to be off the grid. Hundred yeah. percent. So as I said to the yeah. unreals, though, while that's very imaginative, yeah. I have a different idea okay. about what's. Why don't you just get that? Get out your yawn. <laughs> Chad's a little bored. I'm not bored. I'm not bored. By the fact that the earth is flat. I'm not bored. I just like, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. What part, what part are we in? Are we, are we in part 10? No, I'm just curious. I feel like there's so much to get to. There is so much to get to. So yeah. let's keep moving. Let's keep, I'm moving. Okay. okay. So I said on TikTok, very imaginative. That's not the theory yeah. I believe. Yeah. Okay. So I, yes, disclaimer, I don't yeah. believe Antarctica. I don't believe in QAnon. Um, so back to the manipulated photos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Antarctica is not real. So we got to figure it out somewhere else. Yeah. The palace releases a, just to clarify, you're not saying Antarctica is not real, like as a place on the earth. Oh, correct. I'm see, correct. I do believe in it in Antarctica. I just don't believe that elites live in an sure. advanced world beyond sure. an ice wall there. I think what you believe is hazy to probably most people at this point. So I just want to make sure we're crystal clear. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, thank you, Chandler, for, uh -huh, for clarifying. Uh -huh. So the next part that's really, really weird. Yeah. After all this drama over the edited yeah. photo is that Kate Middleton hops on Instagram, allegedly, and it's like, hey, y'all, she she does a little We need mode. to read it. I think we need to read it because read it. the read statement it? is so bizarre. It's so, and and this is where, for me, the, the wheels are completely off. It is, we are in a full, like, tailspin mm -hmm. um, because this statement is released, like, 24 hours later, mm -hmm. which to me shows, like, People are spinning behind the scenes, Come trying to figure out how to respond. To do. Yeah, and also let's just remember before we read it that the royal motto is "never complain, never explain." Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not post an Instagram story responding right. to what people are saying and you know giving your take. Like the royals, they just don't give in to this chatter. Yes, but Kate is posting on stories. So why don't you read it? Yes, so. Um, we are to believe that the day after Mother's Day, you know, in the UK, after, you know, people lit her on fire for her Photoshopping job, mm -hmm. um, she apologizes. And this is what she says in an Instagram story post, like in a very informal, you know. Yes. She says, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. <laughs> I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. Okay. It's so, it's so weird. Can we just imagine the idea that Kate Middleton, that princess, that the princess, people are so angry. I'm not calling her Catherine, the princess of Wales. <clears throat> Can we just imagine yeah. that Catherine, the princess of yep. Wales, okay, is Photoshopping this photo into oblivion. Like, and the things that she was Photoshopping didn't make any sense. It was like random parts of a window. Right, right. It was the fingers. Sleeve of, it was fingers. Yeah. Sleeve of Charlotte's yeah. a jacket I mean, or a sweater. I can understand if Kate said, I love Facetune. Correct. You know, I wanted to give myself a fox face. A hundred percent. You know, I wanted that that Instagram look. I've always been after a ponytail lift. Yes. And I thought this yes. is the app where I can achieve that <laughs> and dream. I've got nothing better to do while I'm laying in bed than to perfect this. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, we're supposed to believe that, you know, Princess Kate mm -hmm. is laying in bed with an Adobe membership. <laughs> 
Like nine ninety nine. Editing her photos. Yeah. Like and also like yeah, it's just none of it is believable. None of it's and it's coming directly from her. It's not from, you know, the palace press or any, you know, one of their editors or something. It is Mm -hmm. from Kate herself. It's from Kate herself. It is so strange. So then, okay, people figure out that the photo and so then it's uncovered Mm -hmm. that the photo of her is actually just lifted from her British Vogue cover. It's the same exact identical photo. And Photoshop experts are like, I see exactly where this was cloned. You can see exactly that this photo didn't happen. Like this was a hundred percent taken from this other photo. Right, right. So it's a fake photo. And and where are the kids' photos from? Do we know? Or like, did the kids pose with like, pose with a stand-in? We don't know. Yeah, right, right. So then also Tina Brown, by the way, she says she does not believe that Kate put out that, yeah, that story. Right, right. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. Nobody is believing that she actually did that and, or actually then posted it to their Instagram. And I, and I think the, the thing that we all need to keep in mind as we're talking about this is all of this could be resolved by one 10-minute, five-minute, yeah. one-minute Zoom of yeah. Kate just being like, hello, everyone. I did have surgery. I really appreciate all the well wishes, but I'm recovering at home you yeah. Know, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Right. Like right. literally one video, one five second video right, right. would stop all, all of this it. chatter. All of it. And they can't, they can't produce They can't that. do it. They, they can't produce that. The mm-hmm. only thing they can produce are fake photos, which brings us to the next fake photo, which is the next day they have a photo of her leaving with William mm-hmm. to go to a private appointment. This is another one where it's just one photo is released. Yeah. yeah. If there's paparazzi, you would think there would be a bunch right, of different right. shots and, and angles. It's not really a photo of her. It's a photo of like the barely her profile. Barely. Yeah. Yeah. It, ma- it makes this whole thing so much spookier. Yes. Yes. It makes it feel like, wait, have there been body doubles all along? It's so yeah, weird. Yeah. So then, of course, internet sleuths determine and figure out that this is actually literally lifted from a photo of her in 2016. And you can tell exactly because she has her hair in this elaborate, beautiful mm-hmm. updo and she has this hat on. Yeah. And, you know, they they show the photo like this is kind of fading to the original yeah. and to the edited yeah. one. And you can see it's exactly the same one. And it's like, really? So Kate, for her private appointment, when she's ailing, she's had this horrible surgery, she's getting full glam, right. full updo. Yeah. To go somewhere. Putting and- on this hat to yeah. go to a private appointment. This doesn't make any right, sense. Right, right. It doesn't make any sense. And it feels like really clumsy. And if she could do that, Chandler, then she could definitely yeah. do a little video. I think, I think where the spell is fully broken is the fact that she herself wrote that post, mm-hmm, allegedly. Mm-hmm. That to me is where this feels like something is really off and that there are lies being told to us mm-hmm. because it doesn't feel like it's actually a real person like controlling this narrative. Right. Exactly. Um, I think another interesting point that was brought up by a friend of mine was, do you think they, they had Kate take the blame for the Photoshopping edits or mm-hmm. errors? Um, because people would feel sorry for her more than, than if it was like, you know, sorry, we've got shitty Photoshoppers in the palace press house or whatever. Well, that's a really good point. So Harry said when he was doing all of his interviews mm-hmm. for Spare, and he s- talked about it in the memoir, that the palace will have someone take the fall yeah. when they want to distract from what's going on with another member. Of the yeah. Family, interesting. Which brings us to Prince William. Yeah. So what people are suspecting is something really bad is going on with Prince William and Kate's whole, this whole crisis yeah. and then pinning it on her, the yeah. Photoshop on her is them deflecting from whatever is going on with Prince William. Wow. Okay. Okay. So again, now we're getting closer to part 16. Now we're getting, now we're getting closer. So the next part that is just like so chilling is we put this all together. And what we realize is we have not seen this woman since Christmas yeah. and all we have are fake photos. Of right. Her. Right. Another thing I've been wondering. Yeah. Where is her mom? Where is her dad? Where is her sister? I know Mm. we had her uncle say something on Big Brother or whatever. Oh, the uncle. Yeah. Like, where is her family in all of this? Are they being silenced by the, the, you know, the crown? Or, yeah, I guess I would expect something from them. Well, so there's just so many things that point to all different things. So one is that Pippa Middleton is summering or vacationing in St. Bart's for part okay, of this. Okay. By the way, her family is like connected, I think owns Eden Rock. Oh, wow. So, okay. Fun fact. Yeah. Um, fun for her. Fun for her. So she's on vacation. And what people are saying is like, okay, well, if Kate's so ill, something yeah. is so wrong with her. Right. You don't think your sister would just be off totally. on vacation. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. But then the uncle, so the uncle's on yeah. Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. And this is where 
PSA to any like very rich people out there, you got to have the wealth trickle down enough so your uncle doesn't have to go on Celebrity Big Brother. So true. Right? It's so true. We've always said that. We've always said that. Yeah. They could have avoided this whole thing yeah. with a few direct deposits right. to the uncle. Yeah. yeah. But instead, the uncle is on Celebrity Big Brother and he's asked about Kate. And the phrasing that he used when he described what was going on was so, I think, revealing. Really? Yes. So he says she doesn't want to talk about it. And he says it's a code of etiquette. So unless it's announced, then I'll give my opinion. It's announced. It's announced. Unless it's, 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 is everything. Oh, but then the other one, the other part. And so this is why this is so confounding, right? There's so many conflicting pieces yeah. of information. He says she's getting the best care in the world. She's getting the best care in unless the world. It's announced. Unless it's announced. He says she's getting the best care in the world. You know, she's the family circled the wagons around her. So unless it's announced, I'm not going to give comment. So the idea is, I think when it says she's getting the best care, that brings me back to a serious medical issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Because why would you say she's getting amazing care if she's getting a divorce? Right, right. Yeah. Unless she's like at a spa or somewhere, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or Chandler. Yeah. If she's getting the best mental health care. That is right. what can make sense. Yeah. yeah. So something is going on by that phrase. It's if it's yeah. announced. Yeah. We know something's happening. And the palace is just putting out all this propaganda, right. essentially. Right. It's so crazy. And the key thing for me is that Kate is not participating. Mm -hmm. She's very clearly not cooperating right. with the palace. Right. Because none of this narrative feels like it's coming from her. Yeah. And as Tina Brown says, she's so punctilious mm -hmm. and she's such a perfectionist right. when it comes to her image. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at how perfectly quaffed she is right, always. Right. Her and her children are always perfectly yeah. groomed. She, this has been so sloppy. Right. It's been so weird. It's honestly yeah. been so tacky yeah. and low yeah. rent. Yeah, yeah. Eerie it, as well. Eerie. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. And the other thing is obviously all of us are a flutter on Instagram, on TikTok, mm -hmm. talking about all this. And you would think that she would want to shut it down quickly, especially mm -hmm. when William's affair comes into play. Please. Okay. So my theory is that she's getting the best mental health okay. care okay. available. Yeah. Because something does need to be announced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think she ever went into that hospital. Yeah. I think that that ambulance took it's her away from lie. Sandringham. Absolutely. And what people are saying, it's all completely alleged. You don't know if any of this is true. But what they're saying, the theory in London, and I've got so many DMs, I've gotten this from so many sources, which is why I finally went on the mm. records talking about it. I did not at first because I'm just like, listen, this doesn't make any yeah, sense, yeah, you know? Yeah. But basically what a lot of people are saying is that William, of course, we all know, had an alleged affair right, with right. Rose Hanbury yeah. in 2018. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. We kind of found out about it in 2019. Yeah. Barely. There's like no evidence of it like there there's even like very little speculation you can even find online to like really point a finger to like oh that's what happened exactly you know and do you remember when we okay so there was one twitter thread about it yes yes one twitter thread by the way that was promptly deleted yes yes and so you could only find screenshots mm -hmm, of the twitter thread mm -hmm. but do you remember when we read it to grandma donna Oh my gosh. Yes. Is that so funny? Yes. Wait, that's crazy. Yeah. When we were like in Utah. Yeah, we were in Utah. We've been so love obsessed, you guys. Yeah. For so, for long. so long. Anyway. Um, so, you know, I, I did a shout out. She didn't her. love it. I remember it was like oh, devastating yeah. to her. It was just, it was so funny because people on TikTok said so a shout out to Grandma Donna yeah. on one of the reels we didn't watch. Yeah. But um, people were like, oh, I love that your grandma loved the hot goss. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, she actually was too pure. She yeah. Was like, I don't truly. like hearing any yeah, of this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, the theory is that Kate, something happened where Kate found out that the affair has never stopped, okay? The affair has never stopped, and there are two theories as to the cataclysmic event mm. that has given her a mental breakdown. Okay. The first theory is that Rose is pregnant with William's baby. Yeah. By the way, we have not seen Rose. Right. We do not know where Rose is. There was, though, that press release... Right after the, mm. the the Photoshop nightmare kind of, you know, got out. The gaff, yeah. Yeah, where they said, didn't they have a so, picture of Lady Rose? So this is a really key point. Thank you for bringing it up. Um, so when the palace is releasing all this fake shit, yeah. the Telegraph or some UK publication releases a profile yeah. that says, who is the Marchioness of Chumley, Lady Rose Hanbury? <laughs> what are these like, names? <laughs> what are these words? 
Well, the interesting thing is that they- marmalade and chutney. That's all. I heard. <laughs> uh, exactly. So they released a recipe for marmalade and chutney, <laughs> and this really threatened the royals. No, they had clearly had this profile yeah. ready to go. And what this said to the royals was, "Hey, if you don't give us something on where Kate is." We are fully going to go ham. Yeah. And we're going to talk about Rose. Right. Which you have never let us talk about. Yeah. Yeah. But we're done with the fake bullshit. Yeah. Give us info on Kate or we're going in on the I affair. Mean, I need the HBO like mini series about right? this. Like I need like the spotlight esque, you know, journalism, mm-hmm. like people in, in the UK boots on the ground when this is happening. Like, you know, press go on the Lady Rose marmalade story. Oh, yeah. No, 100, Hulu needs to get out a mini series in three days. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so the speculation is that Rose is either pregnant yeah. and we have not seen her and she could be, you know, in her second trimester, wow. completely invisible right now with, with William's child that she's not going to give up, which would be, by the way, so fucking humiliating for Kate. Oh, absolutely. Like you consider how much she's given her life yes. to this monarchy. Yes. Yeah. Like she does not put a foot out mm-hmm. of turn. Mm-hmm. She's so perfect. Right. right. Like she's so buttoned up. Right. She's she is the perfect heir apparent and wife and future queen. Also, we ha- we haven't even gone here. We haven't even talked about Harry or Meghan. But she was also, like, Kate was made to look like a terrible person throughout right. that whole scandal. Yes, completely. Yeah. And she just takes Has it Has to, all- like, just hold her head up high and, yeah, turn the other cheek. And it's a quick tangent. But I do think that as a royal, like, yes, it looks so fabulous but it also looks like a cage. Right. It's a you're a prisoner to some degree. Like there's something so fun about living your own life well, and making your own choices and building businesses and like being someone who does yeah. something and I just feel like as a royal you li- it's like to me it just literally looks like going to church a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking about this with the group of friends over the weekend. Um and I think this is an important thing to realize the royals also do not have unlimited money. Yes, correct. And that is something that I am continually reminding myself of because I think, yeah, even if you're a prisoner, so to speak, but you have unlimited funds, like Mm -hmm. at least you can do whatever you want. They actually don't have unlimited money where they can just do whatever they want in their off time. Well, a hundred percent. And also they just can't do whatever they right, want. It's not, right. like, it's not like Kate can get in her thong bikini right. in St. Bart's. Totally. Just enjoy the, yes. enjoy the day. Yeah. Like, and then fly back to do a hospital charity event. Exactly. Yeah. No, you can't. You literally, these people are so famous yeah. and so hounded. They, the only places they can really vacation are like private places, right. villas. They all look ca- cold and cloudy. Yes. And with no vibe, with no strangers no. around. I mean, let's talk about the fact that they can't take great vacations. That's <sighs> no wonder that's she's the gone. scoop. No yeah. wonder she's done. I'm, we send you love. We hope you're like dancing on a table somewhere in oh, Ibiza. We get it. Exactly. Is that how you say it? <laughs> yes. I okay, think good. it is. Um, so, okay. So back, where were we? Where well, we derailed about vacations. Lady Rose. Okay. So the other theory about Lady Rose is that her four-year-old daughter, Kate, found out that that is William's. Yes. That she's William's child. Well, now I want to look up a photo of her I daughter. Know. Should, should we look it up? Yeah. Okay. I mean, are there any clear photos? I'm trying to, I'm, well, I'm, all I'm getting is a book by someone. Uh, there actually is a book called Lady Rose's Daughter, which is kind of making this Google search <laughs> a little hard. <laughs> I can't find any clear photos. So if anyone can send one to us, that would be great. And there's also another rumor that I'm going to share on the pod. I know where we're going with this one. <laughs> and I knew it was going to have to come out eventually. Oh, this is one I could like, p- wish I could put a brown paper bag over my face. <laughs> okay. I got this tip from multiple people. And I'm just, I'm, we got to say it. I couldn't say it with a front facing camera though. So I do have limits. Are you, you going to say it though? Yeah. But gonna, this is going on. This is going to be. It's a little different to be green screening about butt action. Okay. <sighs> then with in front of a mic with a podcast, I think. Anyway, the, a theory this allegedly. This is for my in-laws. This is for my <laughs> disclaimer. We don't know this for sure. We don't know if this is true. This could be total lie. But, but the theory. <laughs> the theory. I would like to be completely. <laughs> I am not sanctioning this. Okay. The theory is that William. I mean, Can you spell it? Can you just spell I'm it out? Positive. The theory is that William enjoys anal play, specifically, <laughs> specifically pegging, and Rose. Rose does as well. Rose, you can't even get it out. And Rose does as well. And that and we Kate are, is not into it. And that is also a big thing that they're talking about in London. And that's. What <laughs> 
that's that's a reason that this affair has continued. <laughs> and this will be my last episode on Pop Apologist. We've decided to part ways. Um because I cannot be associated with content like this. Um wait, can we talk about so wait, Chandler knew this rumor. Yes, I knew this rumor. So I knew this rumor. Um, and I knew that Lauren had also knew this rumor and yes. we, you know, had access to this information. And I'm, every time I open up my phone, there's a new part from Lauren. I mean, if you notice, she literally did a part on an airplane. You can hear like a 747 <laughs> behind her. The dedication that this woman has is like incredible. I'm very lucky to be in business with her. So true. Um, very true. Great employee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I knew Lauren had this information. So I am kind of, and I can see that you are just willing to leave no stone unturned, you know, as you would say. So I'm just waiting for Lauren to share yeah. this. And so with the latest, you know, part 17 or 16 that you posted where you go, you know, and this is <laughs> the most earth shattering news you're ever going to hear you that I have not shared yet. I'm like bracing myself. I'm gripping my seat as I'm watching it. Cause I'm like, here comes the pegging rumor. She's going to literally share it. <laughs> there was no like conversation with me. Hey, do you think I should mention this? Is this too crazy? It was just, it's fully live. It's live. It's been up for hours. Your um, in-laws have seen it. My in-laws have seen it. And anyway, you know, anyone. The yeah. relief that washed over your body. When, when I, realized yeah. When I realized it. that it was not that, um, was so <laughs> pure and sweet. Um, and anyway, now that that's, that's all gone out the window, cause we've just talked about it. So that's correct. Anyway, that I've heard from multiple sources. Can't I, it's, it's probably not true though. If the palace's attorneys are listening, um, <laughs> that's our legal disclaimer. It's, and once again, to the palace attorneys, I'm leaving this podcast. We are parting <laughs> ways. Okay. So you guys, this is obviously the biggest cluster. And the weirdest part about it is it just like, they just don't stop it. Right, they right. don't release a video that she doesn't yeah, get on Zoom. Yeah. We are literally talking about pegging Prince William. Oh, and she's got to say it again. And this could be halted with right. a Zoom. Yeah, yeah. So clearly, Kate is not cooperating. There's another theory, which I need to share, that does oh, not involve any- Is this the craziest one? There's, there's no backdoor in this theory. Okay. Yeah. Sweet relief. So there's another theory- Remember how Megan said in the cut article that she did not sign anything, no NDA? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So our dear friend Kyle, he had this theory last night, and I think it could be so correct. He said, don't you think for the heir apparent that they would be a lot more buttoned up? Sure, sure. Yeah. And so yeah. the theory is that when she married William, that she signed basically her life right, away. Like right. She signed an yeah, NDA, yeah. like the most airtight NDAs yes, in the yes, world. Yeah. She's just completely yep, under their yeah, control. Yeah. Who knows? they might even have a conservatorship right for her. oh gosh who knows yeah, yeah and so the theory is that right now they are literally like keeping her a prisoner oh my like, gosh and so so when she found out about all this stuff and, and she's like, like wanted I'm to go a wall yeah. i'm gonna go a wall yeah they're like no you're not you're actually gonna sit in this room oh my gosh <laughs> oh it's like I know there has been pushback on like all this speculation and mm -hmm. the fact that people are you know like just let this woman rest um, let you know, her recuperate. Let, let her recuperate, but I'm sorry. There are just too many weird things yes. for us to just like, be like, oh, she's just like resting. And this is just the internet going crazy. Exactly. I'm sorry. There's just, there are too many things that are not adding up. Exactly. And I think that that is why something really big is coming. Yeah. So if it is announced to quote her uncle, it will be announced. Clearly yeah. something is happening. Yeah. Something is going on. Of course, I wish we hear about the ice wall. Yeah. I wish an advanced world does exist it would be great to move there okay okay this so, is, you're going full circle coming back to how you wish q and on was real <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. okay just making sure that's where we're ending the episode <laughs> no no i wish this is benign yeah this is just her being like actually I, no i want to recover and sorry i'm not going to give these like yeah. vipers on the internet their moment totally like, I'm actually just i hope recover. i hope we look like total idiots i hope we look like total yeah. clowns yeah yeah but i fear Chandler, i know something greater I just fear that I mean, we're right. Something I, bigger is afoot. Yeah. I want to just briefly touch on Megan now. Megan and Harry. Okay. Someone asked me, you know, what do you what do you think about Megan and all this? Do you think she knows where Kate is? I don't think she knows where Kate is, for the record. No, definitely not. What I do think, I think Megan is sitting, you know, on her oh big sectional in Montecito, and she's got a big old bowl of skinny pop, oh. and she is just refreshing Twitter. Oh, 
I mean, she's taking a break from Duolingo. Yes. Okay. Yes. And she is absolutely, she is refreshing all my reels. Mm-hmm. She is loving every, every second. second of this. Every she's second. so vindicated. Because I feel like she's, yeah, I feel like she's absolutely more vindicated. And I, I think that this whole crazy eerie situation makes me feel like she made the right decision. Well, of course. Also, it also sheds a lot of light on the dynamic between Harry and William. Mm-hmm. So a lot of mm-hmm. people say that Harry and William's yeah. relationship started to become fractured yeah. around the time of the rumored affair. I, I, I think we've also talked about this too. I mean, when we were reading palace papers, yes. and yeah, like we've definitely touched on this and that's the theory that I like to believe. Yes. And that Harry was like, um, okay, you are not going to do to you're not going to do it to your wife, right. what our well, dad did to our mother. Yeah. And so like this whole, this thing is and, so corrupt. Yeah. Like, this is so gross. Right. And I also want to say like, Harry was really good friends with Kate when her and William were dating, mm-hmm. you know, like Harry and like, it's kind of like our Courtney yes, and Wyatt yes. a little bit. Oh like, my gosh. If, if Courtney was like, yeah, I would be moving to yeah. another continent right. as well. Right. Like, right. I love Courtney, yeah. but if she right. steps out on Wyatt. Totally. You know, she's, yeah, I'm, we're going to move. We're going to abdicate or whatever. We're going to abdicate the yeah. Bledsoe sisterhood. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so anyway, I can understand yeah. that making Harry just be like, I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do wonder though, if they are, if he is trying to behind the scenes say, William, you just need to like come out and, you know, come clean or something, you know, I wonder what's happening. Okay. Well, the other thing that people are saying is Harry. (laughs) It's also when you say the other thing people are saying, it might just be like one rogue (laughs) comment on Reddit, but the other thing people are saying, (laughs) the other thing that's being reported. Very big. Um, but the other thing that's everywhere right now on one one person's TikTok channel is that, um, no, the other thing that and now I've lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? So um, many, so many stones. To turn. So many, so many pebbles. No, Harry. Um, no, the other thing is, remember how Harry went to the UK for that forty-five yes, minute visit? Yes, yes. People are like, maybe they summoned him because they needed him in person because they're not going to put it. They're not going to put it. Um, in me. writing, they're not going to put it in writing. They're not going to have it be something he can record. They need it in person. He goes through a metal detector. He's searched. They need an in-person communication between him and King Charles, where King Charles is like, we need your help. Kate's in prison. Kate, or like, like, please look at our prisoner. This is what is going to happen to you. Kate's in Antarctica. We need your help to go get her. No, we don't know. Do you want to go, you know, the ticket to the yeah. ice wall it leaves this date. Yeah. No, we don't know what that conversation was, but could it have been like, actually everything is completely hitting the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Like right. Kate and William are divorcing. Right. Right. Like we actually need you and Megan back. Right. Right. To be some sort of beacon. I mean, let's just say this, Shannon, can you imagine a world where Kate and William divorce Yeah, and Harry and Megan go back and they are the working Royals. Oh my gosh. Kate. Crazy. I mean, crazy. crazy. Crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. Wow. <sighs> Lauren now needs to go take a four day nap. Um, I need to go take a Xanax. I need to I mean, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Kelly Ben Simone style. I just want to say the fact that you recorded a green screen reel from the airplane is everything to me. Did anyone say anything to you as you as you were seated next to them? Let me just tell you the worst part about that. Yeah. You it wasn't the, the loud rushing sound behind you. I wish I had a mic for that. Oh, the, um, one of missed opportunity channel. Really? Um, no, I, the worst part about that is like, you guys, these aren't like one take situations. So, you know, I'm, 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 go, I'm doing it multiple times. Of course you are. Like, you know, part 16, <laughs> where the <laughs> is Kate? And, and Did like, you have someone sit seated next to you? Yes. <sighs> this woman knows no bounds and thank goodness because she's gotten us here. But wow. I have no shame. Um, and you know, I'm going to do anything to get this pot off the effing ground. Right, right. Which you guys, we actually might I have just taken off. Crazy town. Crazy, Crazy town. Crazy town. Yeah. We love you all so much. Love Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank being you here. For listening. If you're new to the show, buckle the fuck in because guess what? We have so many good episodes. Go take a dive. Yes, so many yes. deep dives. I mean, our palace paper is deep dive. If you're in a royal binge right now, it's all on Patreon. It's all on Patreon. We have a 15 yeah. part recap. Uh, you guys, you, you know what? I don't even want to like tell them which episode to go to because they're all good. They're all great. It's they're all great. This podcast is phenomenal. Let's True. be honest. Let's be honest. And you know what, Chandler? We're finally off the ground. Finally. Whew. <laughs>